hope you're doing well at home. Tumewamisi sana watoto. Tumewamisi sana kama walimu, lakini tunawakumbuka na tunawaombea. Bwana asifiwe. Eh, hey, Yesu anakupenda. Sasa tunakuja na Bible, notebook na kalamu. You're going to be talking about handling the situation, you know. Today we are going to talk about praying every day. Jesus coming the storm. You know praying is communicating with God. Matthew 6:33 ambayo inasema seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the others shall be added unto you. John 3 verse 16 For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Wow! Our God loves everyone in the whole world so much that he made his Son Jesus like a ginormous flashlight so that anyone who stays close to him can always be protected from the dark. Oh, now that makes me feel safe. Okay, hi kids. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Mmekuwa aje? I hope you are okay and we are okay also. And we thank God for this far kwa sababu Mungu ametufikisha hapa kwa sababu wako na kusudi kwa maisha yetu. Sio sio kawaida Mungu kukuamsha kila asubuhi, kukupatia uhai, kukupatia afya njema inagarimu mkono wake and we have all the reason to thank God for the father that he has taken us. Kwa hivyo tukiendelea na mafundisho ya Sunday school, I hope you always practice what you are taught. 
kila kitu ambayo tunafunza katika Sunday school I hope you always put into action because the Bible says that blessed are those who do what the word of God says so I want us to pray so that we start with the lesson of today na najua Mungu atatubariki let us pray Thank you God for this day. Umetulinda, umetufikisha wakati kama huu kwa sababu Mungu unatupenda. Tunapoendelea Bwana na lesson ya leo, tomba Mungu fungue roho zetu, akili zetu Bwana tukaweze kuelewa neno lako na kuishi kulingana na mapenzi yako. Tubariki hata sisi walimu, tunapoendelea kufunza watoto, tuwezeshe Bwana. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, tuomba na kuamini. Amen. So today we are going to look at the lesson the day of pentecost unajua the day of pentecost what is the day of, what does it mean by the day of pentecost siku ya pentecote when you say in kiswahili in a, uh, it is the day that jesus went to heaven so we are going to read from the book of acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 21 So the whole story I'm not going to read but I'm going to give you the, the story how it went. You remember when Jesus was on earth. He used to preach, alikuwa anahubiria watu, anahubiria watu. Then alikuwa na the disciples. Alikuwa na wanafunzi wake ambao walikuwa 12. Lakini wakati alikufa ama wakati alifufuka there was one mwenye hakuwa na, na yeye. Ni nani huyo? Do you know who that, that was? The one who betrayed him. Who betrayed Jesus? Kama umesema Judas you are right it is Judas who, who betrayed Jesus and he was not there because he, he, he betrayed Jesus and he ran away alafu uh, when Jesus resurrected ama wakati Yesu alifufuka alikujia wanafunzi wake alipokujia alipo wanafunzi wake alikaa na wao for the bible says alikaa na wao for 40 days kabla aende binguni na wakati alikuwa anaenda binguni they went to a hill That hill was called Mount Olive. Walienda wakakaa hapo akawaambia na what, what was he telling them? Akawaambia mimi hata nikienda kwa sababu walikuwa na, wanahuzunika sana. Walikuwa na, wanajiuliza Yesu akienda sisi tutabaki na nani? Hata wewe sasa zile mzazi wako labda anakuacha kama hawa wadogo mzazi akikupeleka shule si huwa wazazi wengine wanalia wanaogopa kuachwa peke yao hata wanafunzi wa Yesu walikuwa wanaogopa kuachwa peke yao wanashindwa wataachwa peke yao aje Yesu akienda watakaa aje watu wanawachukia watu wameua Yesu labda hata wao wataenda wawaue walikuwa wanaogopa sana so Jesus told them akawaambia mimi nikiwaacha sitawaacha peke yenu nitawaachia msaidizi Nitawaachia msaidizi ambaye ni roho mtakatifu. Because God works in three. God works in three and that is what is called Trinity. Yesu Mungu hufanya kazi akiwa yeye, Yesu mwana, mwana wa Mungu na the Holy Spirit. Now, we are going to talk about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one that was left by Jesus to the disciples. Disciples now walikuwa pia walikuwa na uoga sana kwa sababu walikuwa hawana the holy spirit hawakuwa na mtu wa kuwasaidia wakati walipokuwa kwa hiyo mount of olive yesu alikujiwa na unafikiria yesu alikujiwa na nini hakukujiwa na malaika alikujiwa na wingu ama cloud a cloud of a cloud came down from heaven and it came na yesu akaenda akaanza kupaa akapaa wakakutana na hiyo cloud ikamchukua ikampeleka binguni sasa disciples walikuwa tu hapo wanaangalia na walikuwa wameogopa sana wakaangalia juu hadi Yesu wakati alienda lakini wakati Yesu ali, walipokuwa wameangalia juu sana kulikuja watu wawili na sio watu walikuwa malaika they were all in white walikuwa wa white walikuwa hapo na wakaanza kuwaongelesha wakawa encourage wakawaambia msiogope kwa sababu hamjaachwa peke yenu endeni kwa kwa upper room there was an upper room ama uh, a certain house walikuwa wanakutana na akina Peter na akina James wakaenda huko na waka wakakutana huko walipokutana huko sasa walikuwa wamejifungia huko wameogopa na wakaanza kuomba and they were many because they, walikuwa wamehubiria wengine na wana join so they were all the disciples of Jesus walikuwa wanaomba wanaomba wakaanza kuomba wanaimba wanaomba wakiwa wamefunga ndio watu wasi wasi wakute huko wa, wa, wa wawauwe kama vile waliua Yesu. So walikuwa wana, wanaogopa sana, walikuwa na uoga. Na watu walikuwa wanachungulia, wanajua sasa hawa wameachwa na Yesu wao wataenda wapi. And walipokuwa wanaomba sana, walikiendelea kuomba, wakaomba, wakaomba, 
Roho Mtakatifu alishuka. Na unajua alishuka kama nini? Alishuka kama moto. Akashuka kutoka binguni na akaingia kwa hiyo room walikuwa. Hiyo room ilikuwa juu kabisa. Unajua kama gorofa ile ile floor ya mwisho kabisa walikuwa huko wakiomba. Roho Mtakatifu akajaa kwa hiyo room akiwa kama moto. Akaingia kwa kila mmoja wao kama moto. Na wakujua hata hawakujielewa tena. Wakaanza kuomba na wakaanza kuomba. Wakaanza kuomba hata na lugha zenye hawako wanaelewa. They started praying in tongues. And when they were praying in tongues they were talking with the holy spirit ukiongea na tongues ni sa unaongea na the holy spirit na unaongea pia na Mungu because nobody can understand those tongues hakuna hata wewe mwenyewe who understand huwezi kuelewa ni nini unasema lakini the holy spirit anaingia ndani yako anaanza kukuombea anaanza kuongea na Mungu kwa sababu yako so they prayed and prayed and prayed na wale watu walikuwa na wachungulia huko nje wakasema hey sasa hawa wamekuwa wenda wazimu kwa nini wanaomba sasa kwa nini wamelewa saa hii na ilikuwa asubuhi ati wame lewa saa hii wanaomba 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 na lugha hawaelewi wanajiuliza si hawa ni, ni wagalili kwa nini wanaongea ki lugha yenye hatuelewi watu wote wakiongea sisi husikia lakini huu hawa hatuelewi ni nini wanasema kumbe ni roho mtakatifu alikuwa amewashukia na unajua nini ilifanyika wakati roho mtakatifu aliwashukia sio kuongea tu in tongues they started prophesying unajua ku prophesy ni nini ku prophesy ni kuongea yale mambo ya ta kuja yale mambo yatafanyika so walikuwa wana prophesy they were talking they were speaking in tongues na watu hawakuwa wanaelewa so watu wakaanza kusema vile tu walikuwa nasema walikuwa wamele wamelewa lakini pita alisimama akawaambia hii sio ulevi hatuwezi lewa saa tatu asubuhi sisi hatujalewa we are filled by the holy spirit like the ukiangalia in the bible in the book of joel the bible says that the, the day that day that the holy spirit will come he will fill the people and every everyone is going to speak in tongues people are going to prophesy even the young men are going to be filled by the holy spirit and they are going to prophesy so it was prophesied that the holy spirit is going to come so we are going to to look at the importance of the holy spirit what did the holy spirit do ni nini holy spirit alifanya wakati aliingia ndani yao kwanza one aliwamalizia uoga ule uoga wote walikuwa nao uliisha na wakaanza kuhubiri Yesu bila uoga wowote so what happens when we pray and the holy spirit comes into our heart he comes to give us courage he comes to make us do the right thing the, the second thing he made them know that Jesus is always with them he makes them he made them know that there is nothing that is too hard for God. Na waka akawafanya hata wafungue milango, watoke, waanze kuhubiri injili wakiwa na nguvu. Kwa sababu Holy Spirit anakupatia nguvu ya kuhubiri neno la Mungu. Anakusaidia. You cannot do anything on your own. Ukiwa umeokoka lazima uwe na the Holy Spirit ndiye anakueleza ama ndiye anakuelekeza kuhubiri neno la Mungu. You cannot even preach. Hata wale watu unaona wanahubiri ama wana prophesy, they cannot do without the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that helps them. So, what are we, what are we supposed to do as children? We, the importance of the Holy Spirit in a Christian's life. Sisi ni Christians and we need the Holy Spirit. So we are supposed to pray every day god fill us with your holy spirit so that we, when we wake up in the morning and start our all, all all our duties as christians give us the holy spirit so that we can be courageous enough to do what is right to do what is to do what is right is not sio rahisi ni ngumu saa zingine unajikuta kwa situation watu wanafanya vibaya hata wewe unaona ni kama unaweza hata wewe ingilia hapo hata wewe ufanye lakini holy spirit anakukumbusha wewe ni christian ukiwa na the holy spirit the holy spirit is going to always remind you that you are saved and you are supposed to do the right thing and he is going to give you the courage even to face hata kama ni watu wengi aje wanafanya vibaya wewe utakubali kufanya dhambi hata kama watu wote watafanya kwa sababu Holy Spirit atakuelekeza ama atakupatia nguvu ya kusema no to the wrong things so we always are supposed to pray that the Holy Spirit is going to fill our hearts so that we can do what is right before God and we can be courageous enough even to talk about God kuhubiri neno la Mungu wakati walitoka walienda kuhubiri neno wakahubiri and kila mtu huko Galilea ama Jerusalem wote watu wakaelewa na waka waka wakaamini Mungu na wakaamini ya kwamba Yesu alikuwa mwana wa Mungu through the disciples and that is through the holy spirit kama hawangekuwa na roho mtakatifu
hawangeweza kuhubiri so what have you learned today that we are supposed to pray that god is going to fill us with the holy spirit so that we can do the right things and we can be courageous enough even to speak of his word wewe uko shule ama uko njiani ama uko kwa plot huwa unahubiria huyo rafiki yako do you even pray do you even tell them that you are saved you're supposed to tell them you're supposed to have the holy spirit to ha- to give you even the, the the right words to talk to them uambie wewe umeokoka na unapenda Yesu na Mungu anawapenda so that you can be able even also yours hata wewe ukiwa mtoto unaweza hubiri hubiri uko shule hubiri njiani kila wakati mahali ulipo unahubiri neno la Mungu Ro, ukiwa na roho mtakatifu atakupatia nguvu atakupatia maneno na atakupatia courage ama hiyo ujasiri ya kusema neno la Mungu so let us be filled by the holy spirit let us be able to preach the word of god without fear without any 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 fear so that we can be able to uh, to eneze injili praise god praise god again we have a memory verse of today and it comes from the book of john 14 i'm going to give you as a homework please go and read john 14 26 kama wewe unakuja church utasema hiyo memory verse utatusemea kwa class utatuambia vile inasema john 14 26 and the bible says that but the advocate The Holy Spirit whom the Father will send in my name will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. That is the memory verse of today. So go read, go memorize. Memory verse is supposed to be in your memory in your head. So memorize John 14:26 because the Holy Spirit is all that we need to live even a righteous life. So God bless you so much. I want us to pray. We thank you God for this day. Thank you for giving us such a beautiful word. Thank you for making us know that the Holy Spirit is in our hearts and is is going to give us strength and also is going to help us to teach to preach your word all over the world. Jehovah help us oh Jehovah God to always please the Holy Spirit so that we can live in with him in our hearts so that we can be able to do what is right and to follow what he says even to us. We pray that you guide us and direct us oh Jehovah even to receiving the Holy Spirit. Guide us oh Jehovah God and help us know you and know, know more about you Jehovah. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you.